All right, here we are. Uh, best part of the season. You know, we start way back in uh, in OTAs for this process to be able to be where we are today. So it's exciting to have a chance to to be in this tournament, be in the playoffs, and uh, you know, play a quality team like Detroit, who's you know having a, had a great season as well. So uh, it's a fun time. I'm excited to be here. What stands out about their defense? Um, I mean, well, a lot of things. You know, obviously there's there's players you know that you focus on immediately, like. Um, you know, like Ziggy, you know, does has a great does a great job over there, and I mean, so those those are things that we look at first. It's just is the matchups, and then we look at the scheme um, and what what style of scheme that they play, and um, you know, one that we'll be ready for. Thomas was telling us about the balance, the stats he goes through about run pass balance. When you're going through a game, you are you keeping an eye on that, knowing your offense is better, the play action works better, all that. When well, I mean, I know what uh, where our stats are. I know where our numbers are going into the game, and then um, keep track of, of certain parts of it during the game. And I mean, I, I know how we want to play. I know what our philosophy is, and you know, we want to be a, a, a balanced team. But, um, obviously, a run-oriented team because that's that displays who we want to be at our core. We want to be a, a you know a tough physical team. Um, but then we're we're going to do what what makes us successful. You know, whatever we need to do to be able to win the game, we're going to do it. Um, Coach has always talked about we don't, we're never trying to come out and establish the run. You know, it's not something that we're trying to do. Um, but at the end, you know, by the end, we want to make sure that those numbers. Um, you know, even out, and, and usually that means that you're you're winning the game, and you're able to, to run it out in the fourth quarter. Our defense is reacting differently to play action this year than they have in the previous seasons. Have you guys run the ball better? Um, you know, maybe I, I, w I wouldn't say reacted different. I think probably some of the coverages that we are facing are a little bit different, and you know that's what happens if you you know if you start swaying one one way or the other too much. You know, then um, then they start playing you know different looks for you that that uh, you have to attack in a different way. Is any of that a result of Russell running less? Um, I, I don't know. You'd have to really probably have to ask those other teams, you know, that, that have played us and tried to defend us, you know, for that question. But um, that, I mean, there's probably some factor there, some factor of, you know, of how we've run the ball. And uh, I mean, our, obviously our passing numbers are, are, you know, really way better than they've ever been. And, you know, it's something kind of out of, out of necessity that we've that we've done it that way. Um, but but still, we you know, we, we haven't abandoned it. I mean, we still believe in the run and we're still going to try to do it. How would you characterize how Russell has played? I mean, obviously, just first game of the year, gets an injury, he's kind of had to deal with that kind of stuff all year long, as you mentioned, ends up grants on his record passing yards. I, I think it's really, um, uh, Bob, it's been amazing how he's played. You know, he's he's done such a good job in, in terms of the things that he's had to fight through. I mean, there's probably been more adversity for him this year than, than any other year. Um, I mean, early, you know, with the ankle, and then, boom, he, he gets the knee. Then there's that whole period in there where he's where he's really toughing it out and, and becoming a different player. And, uh, I mean, his style had to be different, so he really had to change the way he played. And, and you know, we changed around him to help him. And then, you know, starting to begin to, to become himself again. So um, I, I think he's done a great job of making those adjustments, of fighting through, the, you know, the things and, and uh, you know, and learning. Is he back to full speed or do you think he's still slow to bother by the um, you know, I don't. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. You know, we, it's it's funny. We look back at some, you know, some earlier cutups, and you're like, man, look at that guy. You know, he looks really fast and, and uh, really quick and moving. Um, but you know, sometimes you just you see it each and every day. So um, I, I don't know if he's 100. percent You know, I'm, I'm, he's probably not running 4-4. You know, like he did when he was coming out of the combine. But um, obviously, he still runs well enough um, to be able to do the things that we need him to do. It looks like he's had periods where his accuracy is just a little bit off. Is that? Can any of that be attributed to maybe overcompensating or the habits you get in because he's playing through an injury or anything like that, or, or just, a, just a couple misses? Um, well, you know, we're all, he, um, he's always going to attribute it back to his feet, and usually that's you know that's where we go as well. Um, there's you know there's some things that we can that, that we talk about you know read wise and scheme wise, but most of the time it's going to come back to, to his feet and being in. Um, you know, in having good te technique and good fundamentals and, and making some of those throws. Uh, you know, I think of the third down one, you know, the first third down one where he put it behind Jimmy, you know, that's that's one. And, um, you know, so, but something we're always working on. And, I mean, he focuses on it um, and tirelessly, really. It seems like Luke's, now that he's back healthy, he's starting to, to find a few more balls as well. How's he kind of fitting back into things now that he's back to full speed? 
Yeah, he's you know he's uh, he's kind of he's one of those guys that brings so much energy to us. You know, I mean, you saw how when he scored that touchdown, how the guys reacted to him. I mean, they're just I mean, he 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 brings such an excitement to the game and um, so much love for the game. He loves his teammates. He brings energy out here at practice every day. He's really vocal. Um, so you know, it's uh, it's a good part of our offense to have. You know, any of those guys that that bring energy to us like that. You know, Jimmy, you see how he reacts when he catches balls and how that affects everybody. It's just like when you hand it to Thomas and he he runs over three and four people, you know, there's there's a reaction and, uh, you know, it kind of gets your juices going, kind of gets the momentum going, the flow going, and, and Luke's one of those guys. When Russell was going through some of those injuries early in the season, what did you learn about his approach and kind of the way he embraced the ball? Well, he's, you know, he's, he's an amazing guy. You know, he, he doesn't really ever change his approach. Um, and he, he really just he really jumps in with both feet on whatever the task is at hand, you know. And at, and at the time, you know, he didn't change his preparation, but he had to add, add this whole new part of this of the rehab, you know. And and um, you know, he obviously he did it around the clock. I mean, he was doing it in the middle of the night, um, you know, all, all night long. So um, he just just again just just as he would do, um, you know, he jumped right in. He he worked and, and did what he needed to do to get back, put himself in a position to help um, help the team. But he didn't minimize those other things. I mean, he, he still studied. He was still on his on the stuff and um, knew exactly what he needed to do. The quarterback in particular and everything that's on that position is played. How valuable can all the experience Russell has in the playoffs be for him to get to these games? Yeah, I think it's valuable really for all of us. You know, and, I mean, anytime you've already been through a situation, you know, you're uh, – your anxiety level, you know, can can come back down a little bit. Been there before. I've done that. Um, and you know, guys like him and Doug and Jermaine and and those those guys that we have on our team can help with some of the younger guys that we have. It's also our philosophy, you know, that we just I mean, we treat every game the same. And it's championship opportunity each and every week. So that's part of it as well. But anytime you have those you know those veteran players around you that you know that can that ease some of that tension. Daryl, we've seen uh, last week both Thomas Rawls and Alex Collins kind of get equal number of carries. We've seen, had 18 different guys carry the ball this year. What do you think about where the team is at the running back position right now? Well, I mean, we've we've been using a lot of guys, and and we're uh, we're doing the best that we can with with who we have. I mean, the, there's been different situations in in every game that has come up, and you know, with the, you know, with the guy getting nicked, we go in with one plan, we got to make another adjustment, and so I think all the running backs have really done a great job of just being there, being prepared for their opportunities when they come. Um, you know, Alex is, I mean, he's gone from on the team to off the team, back on the team. You know, now he's now he's getting a lot of carries, you know, so we're, we're moving through that through that mix a lot and we're trying to find the, you know, the, the right match there. And I mean, obviously, we love having Thomas Rawls up and, and, you know, when he can when he can carry the ball as much as he can. Um, but, you know, there's been there's been some some injuries there as well. So. Um, I think all the guys have reacted well, and we're kind of almost just pinpointing plays, um, opportunities for, for certain guys in certain situations to, to help us be as successful as we can be. So like you guys do a lot of self-scouting to find out if you're skipping plays? For sure. Yes, we do. Is that productive? I would say it is, yes. <laughs> you mentioned that 18 different people carrying the football. Talking to offensive linemen, you know, they don't care who's behind them. They're assigned to the same. But given that it's a young offensive line, you know, how has that affected the sort of turnover? Affected the line or the running backs? The line. Uh, well, I mean, they, like you said, I think it's I think it's true that you know they're not worried about who's back there. Um, different running backs, you know, can set up things differently, but um, but really those guys are you know trying to be in sync as that group. You know, those five guys um, hitting their combinations, making sure they're getting things targeted right, um, come you know coming off to the right linebackers and. Um, um, the, the combinations, how they fit together, I think that's you know that's more critical and, and more what they're worried about than you know how the run backs hitting it. How did uh, JD McKissick kind of fit in? He got some time last week. It seems like he might be able to handle some CJ's role until he's on. Yeah, we're 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 kind of searching for that role and, and and seeing how he's doing. He he did a nice job. You know, he was able to come in on a short you know on a really short week and and be able to jump in and had a few plays and we'll continue to grow that see what he can do um he's looked really good in practice uh you know we, we got him the one carry but uh we he looked really good in practice carrying it he looks really good at, at his visions the vision's nice you know particularly for the background that he's had and you know so he's seeing things well uh, and, you know and we'll, we'll be able to see if we can get him more opportunities there as well anything else thanks Coach. all right thanks, thanks.